Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy is trying to do more to prevent criminals from reoffending. And while a lot of people say bail mm -hmm. is the issue, Mulroy says a new program in his fast track violent crime initiative could help improve the statistic. So our Action News 5's Griffin Deborah taking action for you tonight with this story. He's live in studio with more. Griffin, what can you tell us? Yeah, guys, well, the initiative is called Goal Oriented Probation, and it could break the cycle that DA Steve Mulroy said has become too common over the last couple of years. Violent crime for me is the number one focus. Violent crime has been an issue for some time, but Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy says reoffending criminals are not being handled the right way. I am a big believer in the fact that you need both carrot and stick. That for the last couple of decades, we tried to lock them up and throw away the key approach, and it clearly didn't work. When Mulroy took office, he started the Fast Track Violent Crime Initiative, also known as the V11 program. It designated 11 crimes as priority offenses for prosecution. But Mulroy said there was another part that he was looking to introduce. So we're also doing something else that we're calling meaningful supervision. And that basically is trying to make sure that every one of these defendants is required to have the kinds of rehabilitative interventions that all the experience of the cities has shown makes them less likely to repeat offend. More I gave an example. If someone has six years probation, they would usually report to a probation officer around once a month. But with goal-oriented probation, it would be three years where they are forced to go to different interventions. Load them up with those kinds of interventions I'm talking about. Job training, job placement, GED. And the quicker they do those things, the quicker we'll be open to reducing the supervision level. To give them an incentive to get those things done so they can put their life on a different trajectory and we never have to see them again. Morai said he knows people might be concerned about less time, but overall in the end, something had to be done to break the mold. Well, the revolving door that I'm worried about is the revolving door at the other end of the system, where people go into the system, they don't get much rehabilitative intervention, they come out, they go right back to the only life they've ever known, which is life on the street. We've got to break that cycle. Now, Mulroy said, like we were saying earlier, there is a misconception when it comes to bail. He said not as many people are reoffending like you might think and stress the goal has to be getting people the help they need to get back into society. In the studio, Griffin Demeray, Action News 5. Thank you.